Well, welcome back. Meteorologist Caitlin Lord joins us once again and just want to remind folks we are not in the first alert weather day today, but there are probably four in a row coming because <laughs> it is going to be miserable this weekend if you are outside. Absolutely. And with, that is why you are seeing first alert weather related things today. It's kind of just to kind of catch your attention, get you to kind of tune in and see what's coming our way because this is something that we do need to take seriously. I know we deal with snow every winter, mm -hmm. but it's going to be treacherous travel conditions as well as dangerously cold temperatures. So what we dealt with last winter is kind of coming around for a round of this weekend. So keep that in mind. Here's what it looks like from Bethany Lutheran College in Mankato. We're starting to lose that sunshine, which we knew was going to happen through the early to mid afternoon hours. So hopefully you were able to take advantage of some of that sunshine. I know it's a little on the bitter side out there, but at least we had some sunshine. Now temperatures as you go forward, pretty cold out there and this is not as cold as it's going to get. This is just kind of a taste of what we're going to be dealing with. We have a lot of single digits out there. The coldest we have is Olivia and Slayton coming in at three degrees or at seven in New Alm, Glencoe and St. James nine here in Mankato, St. Peter, Fairmont, Spencer and Albert Lee with up to 12 degrees in Mason City. The winds a little bit of a different story out there. They're already breezy coming out of the west northwest up to 15 miles an hour. Now I know these are not strong winds, but again, a taste of what we're going to be dealing with going into the weekend. Winds are only expected to increase going forward as that system continues to move into the area. With the winds right now, we are dealing with bitter wind chills already below zero across the entire area. We're sitting at five below for what it feels like here in Mankato, St. Peter, Glencoe, Spencer and Algona. The warmest wind chill we have in our area is two below zero in Mason City and the coldest right now 15 below for what it feels like in Olivia, followed by 13 below for what it feels like in Redwood Falls, Marshall and Slayton. So again, Feeling rather bitter out there, and this is just a taste. We're just dipping our toes into that winter weather that is yet to come. Satellite radar imagery showing that those clouds are moving in from the southwest as that system starts to approach that Siouxland area. Now, snow is going to be moving in through the late afternoon hours in the Sioux Falls area, the early evening hours to the southwest, and it's just going to get a little bit later and later as that system approaches. So let's break that down going with our future cast. Again, late evening hours to the southwest. It's going to start off very light, flurry-like, and then it's going to slowly pick up to more moderate snowfall. It's not really going to reach the Mankato area till between 4 and 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, starting off light and then intensifying to more moderate to heavy snowfall at times. One thing to keep in mind, areas to the far west and northwest looking at far less totals than what we could see here in south central Minnesota and southeastern Minnesota. That being said, no matter where you are, though, expect things like treacherous ha uh, travel conditions, blowing snow, reduced visibility, drifting and dangerously cold temperatures. Travel will likely not be advised through tomorrow afternoon into Saturday. Now, if you do have to travel, make sure you have that travel kit ready to go as far as extra warm clothes packed, blankets, candles and or crayons because those burn very long. If you were to get stranded, um, you're going to want tow ropes as well as jumper cables. All of that needs to be packed in your car if you're going to make your way out and about this weekend. So like I said, totals out to the northwest of us less than what we're going to see as you move east across the area. This system is very tricky and we are watching these totals. As you can see, these kind of lines are very, very precise. So if this shifts any more west, we could be in that higher total range. Whereas if this system shifts eastward, we're going to see less totals. But right now, this is kind of where we're sitting at the three to six inch range here in Mankato. So keep that in mind. A winter storm warning will be in effect through Saturday morning, given the conditions we're going to be seeing. Temperatures high of 13 degrees today, so it will warm up a little bit, but drop back to the single digits overnight with that snow developing at a low of six degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. As we mentioned, first alert weather days coming up starting tomorrow, continuing through Monday, first because of the snow and the wind, and then because of the cold and in the wind and then we'll rise back above zero with another minor snow chance possible next week.